Welcome to the introductory video for P219, Political Economy of Development. I'm going to talk through some of the key features of the class, uh, but you can find a lot more detail in the syllabus, which is now posted in the Shopping Day site. So the class offers a survey of some of the key debates and issues in the political economy of development. Part one examines contending views of the main drivers of and obstacles to development around the world, particularly in the regions of Latin America, Sub-Saharan Africa, and East and Southeast Asia. For example, what explains why some countries are poorer than others? To what extent can these patterns be attributed to culture, institutions, colonialism, economic dependency, and or state-society relations? Part two analyzes development policy choices made by governments in the global south. What are the consequences of different development strategies? How has the state promoted or retarded development? And part three covers three broad topics with contemporary relevance. The first is rethinking development and underdevelopment, including in the global north. The second is resistance from below, particularly the role and impact of social media. And the third is politics and violence at the margins, especially in the context of urbanization and illicit markets. This will be a hybrid course. Conditions permitting, I plan to lecture in person in MUGAR 200 with the option for students to participate remotely. All of the other synchronous activities will be conducted remotely in Zoom breakout rooms. The course will be organized by weeks with class time divided between lectures, discussion groups, and class exercises. In parts one and two, lectures will be on Mondays and discussion groups will be on Wednesdays remotely. In part three, asynchronous videos and or student-led class exercises will replace the lectures with the exact schedule to be determined. The lectures are meant to complement rather than substitute for the class readings. Each week, I will provide a set of discussion questions ahead of time so students can prepare for the Zoom breakout rooms. There are no exams in this class. Instead, students are expected to keep up with the readings and engage regularly in class discussion. The written assignments are five short discussion board entries, two longer response papers, and a group case study. For the group case study, groups of three to six students will choose a topic related to the themes covered in part three. Each group will write a 20 to 25 page teaching case and exercise, and I will select one group per theme to teach their exercise in the class. I look forward to a very engaging participatory class and hope to see some of you in person as well as on Zoom next semester.